The release of a major new update to algorithm software DJ comes at an interesting time for me. If you follow me on social media, and I've mentioned it on here before, you'll know that I have been doing a 30-day full switch to DJ, with the idea of that being potentially a long-term prospect. That 30 days is just about up, and well, I'm not jumping ship quite yet. I was pretty excited about the prospect when using a lot of hardware, but I did have one major deal-breaking issue with DVS, which they've fixed in this new version, 5.3. So that means, to be fair to them, another 30 days of testing before I bring you my final verdict. And so for now, let's take a look at what's new in 5.3. Before we get into the new features, let's talk about my DVS issue. Regular viewers will know I'm all about sync these days, and when using DVS, either with phase or with control vinyl, sync was just completely broken in the last version, with the tempo jumping all over the place. They say they have fixed that now, and my testing so far seems to bear that out. Also on the subject of DVS, Algorithm have introduced a software through mode, so you can hear regular vinyl through the app which will come in handy on some hardware which doesn't have physical switches for that. What's actually new then? Well, to begin with, there is some new hardware support with the DDJ Groove 6. I had Alpha Theta send me a loan unit to try with it, and on the whole, everything works really well. The Groove 6 is one of my favourite mid-range controllers on the market, primarily because it has a lot less quirks than the older Flex 6 and Flex 6 GT, and is therefore a more flexible device, which takes well to being mapped with different software. The only thing about the DJ mapping I'm less than enthused about is the way they've mapped the groove circuit up top. Algorithm have done it so their controls ape those marked on the Serato overlay, but that means that the order of the stems doesn't match the usual algorithm style, with drums on the left and vocals on the right. Here it is reversed. That's not a huge deal though, and generally the mapping works great. Within the software itself, there are tons of new things, so I'll just give you my highlights you can check the algorithm website for the full list. Light mode, already introduced on computers, is now available on iOS as well, which is great for those daytime gigs. There's a new Essential Tools section located by the Crossfader, which gives you direct access to neural mix, effects, or beat jump controls. On Mac and Windows, you can now drag and drop cue points and saved loops to rearrange their positions. I didn't actually realise that was never there before, but I'm glad it is now. Also in that area is another really nice touch. Long pressing set cue in the user interface or on your hardware now snaps that new cue point to the closest beat, so you can easily set cues on beat without needing to enable quantize. Very cool. The same applies to another new feature on Mac. You can click on a track's artwork on the deck, which opens up an action menu, and you can also now drag a track down to add it to a playlist. That's a feature I use on other software a lot, so I'm happy to see it now in DJ. I know that people turn their noses up at the idea of auto mix, but it can be a super handy tool for solo operator mobile DJs in particular, for things like dinner music. Now, in 5.3, Automix works with external controllers like the Rain 1 and with mixers too, and you can utilize the new crossfader effects for the transitions. Speaking of crossfader effects, that's a big area of expansion here. Algorithm have added two new ones, Neural Mix Echo Out and Neural Mix Fade, which can make for very smooth blends. Here's what they sound like. Yeah, sabe que que queda sobre sale. Solo se trata de dar Crossfader Effects also now works with four decks, and what I like the most is that you can crossfade individual stems separated out with Neural Mix. 
This is one of those features which I feel like won't quite be utilised to its full potential until someone makes dedicated hardware for it. After all, nobody makes a mixer with more than one crossfader, that would be crazy. But you can MIDI map those multiple faders to basically anything you like now. Here's a quick demo. One final neural mix feature I want to point out, they've added in these new mute effects. So when you mute or solo stems, you get an echo out on them. This is the way I always utilize stems in Serato DJ Pro without fail. I generally map them to two of my hot cue pads. So I'm very glad to see that added into DJ. A few final things of note for me, they've increased the maximum loop and beat jump length to 128 beats. You can also now switch the output of the software to mono, which I love. That comes in super useful in situations where you're playing off, say, just one speaker and you don't have a hardware mono stereo switch. And this last one is another feature which is not glamorous, but practical. They've decoupled the manual gain on hardware controllers from the auto gain in the software, so you can now adjust those independently. I always found the idea of those being tied together rather impractical, especially if you use multiple bits of hardware with different gain structures. As I said, there's a lot more here, especially in terms of bug fixes that I haven't mentioned. So check out the full release notes on Algorithm's website if you want to know more. And if you're interested in hearing more of my thoughts on the state of DJ in 2025 more generally, check back here in early May when I'll be letting you know all the bits I love, all the stuff I'm not quite so sure about, and whether I will be making that switch. In the meantime, tell us in the comments about your impressions of this new 5.3 update for DJ, and which features you are most happy to see. And if you are a user of DJ who has switched over from another platform, I'd love to hear what you moved from, what hardware you use, and what your reasons were for doing so. As ever, sound off down below. Thanks for watching this episode of Beat Source Tech. I do hope you've enjoyed it or found it useful. If you have, please give the video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to the channel and you hit that bell icon to make sure you don't miss any future videos. And hey, if you haven't already, you can try Beat Source for free and join DJ City for just $10. All links are down in the description. I'll see you next time. <laughs>